Wow, how many milers are there? Nine-year-old Paxton out of Harriman, Utah. 12-year-old ninja kid Ashton Myler. Brighton Myler, he's a martial arts expert who flipped at the chance to try our course. Oh! I definitely feel like I'm the leader of the Myler kids. My siblings might not think so, but it's true. <laughs> I'm a third degree black belt and I gotta do all my tricks and flips, and it's awesome. My martial arts is gonna help me on the ninja course a ton with my acrobatic skills and my strength and my focus to win. Oh! Battle of the elite ninjas here. Keep in mind, Brighton has five inches on Ethan that could come into play on the reaches. Yeah, but Ethan's looking strong so far. No hesitation on that leap. Now the devil steps. This is where Ethan's reach disadvantage could come into play. But he's having no trouble. Brighton actually looks a little held up. This could be the make or break moment. Oh, oh, look at that. Big moves out of Little Dollar. Well, Brighton's gonna have to hurry to catch up now. Oh, he can smooth. But here comes Brighton. Ethan has an obstacle lead, but a lot can happen on the flying shelf grab. Uh oh, he looked back to see where Brighton was. Ethan's down first. Ethan can get up a 14-foot war blow, and he's up a 13-footer, no problem. For Nikki, he had a jetpack on. Right up that war wall, and already cheering on Brighton, he does it as well. And with that incredible run, the ninja known as Lil Dollar wins the first race of the seeding round. Let's take another look at that race. The separation happened on the devil steps. Ethan flew up and skip steps on his way down. Brighton struggled to get his rhythm on the ascent, and by the time he figured it out, Ethan was already a full obstacle ahead. This is an awesome matchup. Sprinting right out of the gate, essentially step for step. Very even here. Both make the first transition off TikTok. Hotchkiss, wow! The devil steps are where Brighton got hung up last time, but seems to have it figured out now. They are both flying up. And look at this. Look at this, Lauren is matching him. And now she's pulling away. Lauren needs to keep her lead here in case she needs extra attempts at that warp wall. Brighton Myler is right on her heels. This is going to be close. He is really pushing her, both on the second ledge now. But remember, Lauren couldn't get up the wall in her first race, so this is far from over. But she's first off. My goodness, and Brighton Myler just stunned. I'm the second oldest brother. Like my family, I do martial arts, but I'm really good at gymnastics. I started when I was seven years old, and I skipped over one and two because I could do one-arm push-ups. <laughs> These are some of the medals that I worked so hard for. I started when I was super little. I love flipping, doing crazy stuff that my brothers can't do. I can definitely win. I can enjoy her because I've been training really hard. Yeah! Let's see the athleticism. Here we go. They both got that martial arts background. They're using it. They're kicking butt on this course. Well, Alexander coached by the great Abel Gonzalez, but looks like Ashton's slightly ahead here on the rings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that reach on Alexander. He's skipping pegs. And a tremendous dismount out of Alexander. That's the best we've seen someone do on the ring toss in this entire age group. Ashton playing catch up here, but right into it, building up momentum with that strong lead. And Ashton's tied it up, incredible. Oh, oh nice move. He can close it up. Look at that grip strength. He has done it. A great matchup between some real life ninjas. Just missed it. There's still a great run by Ashton. This race can go either way. So both these guys looking to get their first buzzer, but Ashton slightly ahead. There you go. No way to move it, guys. Be efficient. Nice. You're good. Matt, check this out. Gabriel could come back on the ring toss. He has the advantage when it comes to wingspan. But Ashton has the gymnastics experience, and he's got that upper body strength, and he dismounts first. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Gabriel's having some trouble. There you go, build that swing. Keep moving, bud. 
good. And Ashton, no hesitation. He's got a full obstacle lead. All right, Gabriel's got to hustle if he wants to pass up Ashton. But keep in mind, Ashton had trouble with the work well last time. That's got to be going through both of their minds right now. Gabriel still has a chance. You got this, bud. Trust that grip. Absorb. Oh! Gabriel Harvey falls in the water for the second time. Ashton, though, looking to do what he couldn't do in the first round. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's got it. Ashton Myler summons the one more winning this knockout oh, round. Oh, wow, what an amazing run. Great comeback for Ashton Myler. Ashton looks determined right out of the gate. You can see that buzzer in Ashton's eyes. Wow, these two really pushing each other. The prodigy is up on the cargo. Ashton's head. gone. Ashton knows he needs this edge. This is where Alexander took the lead in their last race. Oh, snap. Alexander's held up, and Ashton's out of there. He's getting his redemption. But the prodigy with an incredible dismount. Ooh, Matt, Alexander's got to make catch up. Oh, Alexander almost lost it there. He really needs to compose himself. Ashton's owning this course. But keep in mind, he struggled on the warp wall off. Or can he close it out? Alexander's putting on the pressure. This is intense. No, no, this no, is over. Alexander's just going to pull himself off. Use that grip. Alexander, the prodigy, he put the pressure on when it counted. Still a noble effort out of Ashton Myler. Were you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> but you kept going, you regrouped. Good job. Let's take another look. Alexander had a couple of hiccups while Ashton ran a near perfect run. But it was Ashton's miss on the warp wall that allowed Alexander to hit that winning buzzer. <laughs> All right, ooh, fast start for Paxton. And caught Enoch a bit asleep at the wheel, but Enoch's already closed the gap. Both flawless coming off TikTok. These two matching each other move for move. Tremendous upper body strength here on the I-beam. Wow. Woo. Enoch takes the lead for the first time. And Matt, let me tell you something. He's got some ability. Look at that. Well, he caught himself there on the I-beam, and he's pulling away. Oh, but Matt, he's hesitating. Passes back in it. A good bounce. It's a dead heat right now. Well, Matt, something's going to give. You got to make that commitment. You can see him going. And the electric ninja makes the first move even again. Oh! Enoch down and Paxton with the one finger save. Oh! And he does it. The electric ninja a little shocked, but OK. And Paxton delivers, going for the warp hole. Nice. Well, credit to him. Enoch pushed him, but in the end, it's Myler who gets the buzzer. The Ninja Kids are alive. Feeling like a Ninja Kid? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there we go. It's Paxton Myler. A great race out of Enoch. Just not enough. Myler takes the win, standing by with Lori. Paxton, congratulations on your win. Oh my goodness, you had a fingertip save on the spin cycle. Tell me, what were you thinking about? Well, one of my hands, only my finger was on, and I barely caught it. How did it feel to slam that buzzer? It felt amazing. And here we go. These two evenly matched. Yeah, they are. Same age, same height, same weight. Unfortunately, they can't have the same outcome today. And Paxton right now with his slight edge. When Enoch is focused, he can go 0 to 60 in two seconds. Enoch finding a little electricity here. He's got a little electric charge to him. And Enoch pulling slightly ahead. No, Myler off first. It's all about that dismount. Go, 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 go. Look at their bodies, they're flailing all over the place. Keep your hands forward, go on this one. So the pressure's on Enoch here. It's hard to get a good grab. Oh! sha -na -na. Enoch goes down, and because Paxton got there first, Paxton takes the win. And he's going to finish it out. And Paxton hits the buzzer, making it official. 
These two looking ready to explode on the course. It's win or go home. They ain't playing around. Ooh, nice. James Scott just skipping that rope. Both these ninjas are pushing their limits. Well, after running this course three times already, these ninjas should have a good feel for how to conquer these obstacles. James is pulling ahead, and I'm shocked because this is usually where Paxton dominates. Well, Paxton knows he's got to close his gap. And James got it. Oh, and James just took a quick peek back. You can't worry about your competitor. Got to stay focused or mistakes will happen. That's so true. And look at this. Paxton's back. Oh, I told you. Paxton's no joke. But James adding fuel to his fire. He's kicking it up a notch. And Paxton's, no, no! Paxton is down, so James Scott gets the win. Look at Daisy, so proud. A fierce run out of Paxton. He pushed it to the limit. Nice job, Paxton. Click subscribe to get more American Ninja Warrior Junior. Subscribe below. Do it right now. Give a thumbs up for your favorite ninja. Hey, and if you think you're a warrior, tell us why in the comments.